No, I hadn't posted a video in a while, but I changed the engine in the service truck and went to a 8V92 Detroit industrial engine. Um, put some good injectors in it. It's got a cat turbo on it. Um, but anyways, I'm fixing to crank it up. Let y'all listen to it. Anyways, something I've been wanting to do for a while, and if they had some time, so I took him. It's a little different how I had to do everything. I'll show you. It don't look the best, but I ain't got finished with it yet. But I got the uh, alternator and air compressor on the front of the engine, and I slid the engine all the way to the firewall, and I put a cat turbo on there you can see <clears throat> had to do a few other things you know if I this is gonna be my fan set up here this is the fan right here it's a one horse electric motor it's gonna run off of a 185 uh, degree sensor it's gonna kick it on and off with a continuous duty Ford solenoid, but um, and this is the fan blade I'm running. It's supposed to be a max RPM of uh, 1,075 RPMs, but I've ran it up. This motor's good for 1,750 RPMs. I'm gonna run it 1,750. It pulls a lot of air. Um, but anyways, I'll start posting some more videos. Um, <clears throat> but hey. We got a new engine in the service truck. I could have left the Cummins in there. I really like the Cummins, but I really wanted a Detroit in the service truck. It only weighs 32,000 pounds. Um, I still have the engine. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just gonna put it in a different truck. But uh, I want to do Detroit in this truck here. And the next thing is gonna be putting Jake brakes on it, but Y'all stay tuned.